We're in Cook City. This is Sheep Mountain behind me. And the last storm was about a week ago. And not long after the storm, there were probably three or four or maybe more avalanches, uh, a few human snowmobile triggered and maybe a few natural. And those are breaking on some weak snow down here near the ground. The tricky part is that where we've been seeing most of these avalanches, kind of generally above tree line, in some of this terrain, the snowpack is really deep and, and somewhat strong. In other places, it's really shallow. And the places where we've seen avalanches are, are kind of in between, where it's shallow enough that some of these weak layers were able to form, but deep enough that we have a slab on top. Now, it's getting a little bit harder probably to trigger an avalanche, and I think your odds of, of hitting rocks and damaging your sled are higher, much higher than triggering an avalanche. But we have, sl we have a slab, we have a weak layer, so it is important to remember that you could trigger one, go one at a time. Looking, looking ahead, when we get another storm and it starts snowing again, if we get a big enough load, it could reactivate this layer and we'll get avalanches breaking fairly deep in the snowpack. We're also watching the surface because these warm sunny days and clear cold nights are, are weakening the snow surface and we're getting little surface hoar crystals and little near surface facets right on top and, and that'll fracture too if we get a slab of new snow on top of 